Bart Holderson was born in 1971 in Sheboygan, Wisconsin, and his wife, Krista, maiden name Freighter, was also born in Wisconsin, in Madison, in 1968. They both attended the University of Wisconsin-Madison, and the couple married in the summer of 1994. During July of 2021, 50-year-old Bart, who was an accountant, and Krista, an administrative assistant, resided in DeForest, Windsor, Wisconsin, and were parents to two sons. There was Mitchell, aged 24, who was employed in the technology field and was engaged to be married, and Chandler, aged 23, who was set to study at Madison Area Technical College with a focus on obtaining an IT degree, and in June of 2021 expressed excitement about an upcoming job at spaceflight company SpaceX, which meant that he would be moving to Florida in the near future. Chandler's proficient swimming skills had resulted in his involvement with the police scuba team, and additionally he managed a position at an insurance company, which he performed remotely due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Bart frequently inquired of his son regarding his unpaid rent for living in his parents' home, to which Halderson responded by explaining a wage-related misunderstanding. On July 2nd, 53-year-old Krista Halderson failed to appear at her workplace, causing concern for her colleague and friend, Daniel Croninger. Struggling to establish contact with Krista, Croninger's call attempts went unanswered. Consequently, he visited the Halderson residence and encountered their son, Chandler. Chandler, who still lived in the family home, informed Croninger that his parents had travelled to their family cabin for the duration of the 4th of July weekend. Upon Bart and Krista Halderson's failure to return home, however, following the weekend and no responses to calls or messages, Daniel Croninger encouraged Chandler to seek assistance from the police. Chandler contacted the Dane County Sheriff's Office on July 7th to report his parents as missing. During his interaction with detectives, he recounted that an unfamiliar couple had supposedly given his parents a ride to the cabin. Investigations began, with concern growing for Bart and Krista as the hours ticked by. Chandler was seen knocking on neighbours' doors, asking them if they had seen his parents or knew anything about their uncharacteristic disappearance. Bart and Krista's eldest son, Mitchell, was eager to do as much as he could to help in finding his parents and on July 8th drove up to the family's Riverside cabin, located three hours north of Windsor. Upon his arrival, he regrouped with Langlade County Sheriff deputies and they began searching in and around the cabin. Their investigations found that the residents had been void of life and activity for quite some time. Unfortunately, nothing of significance came of their search. Like Chandler, the authorities questioned friends and neighbours of the couple, wishing to learn where Chandler Holderson was during the 4th of July weekend. With a fragmented story, police believed that Chandler's story simply did not make sense and subsequently brought him in for questioning. During the two-hour interview, Chandler informed the detectives that his parents had headed to the cabin to address a plumbing crisis, and he had assisted them in preparing the necessary tools for the repairs. He said they attended a parade, however, police found no evidence of such an event having taken place. A farm owner provided a tip to deputies, indicating that she had witnessed Chandler emerging from the edge of the woods on her property a few days prior to him reporting his mother and father as missing. Detectives conducting Chandler's interview were informed immediately. He requested a lawyer upon the fresh questions and the interview was subsequently terminated. 
When deputies searched that area by the farm, they made a grisly discovery. They recovered human remains, which was identified as a male torso. Investigators immediately began procedures for testing to identify the remains. Later, more information came to light about Chandler's employment, education and deception. Despite an alleged offer of a job at SpaceX, a position which both Krista and Bart were thrilled about, it became evident that Chandler would not be able to move across the country to begin the new job. Chandler suddenly started wearing a neck brace, to which he explained he'd fallen down some stairs and had been injured, meaning that he couldn't take the job as he couldn't drive or fly with such an injury. He told his parents there was a delay in his college application, showing email communications concerning qualifications, and Bart decided to call the college to sort the issue out. Chandler told his father that he had a meeting with the college on July 1st in order to fix the delay, but despite this, Bart continued to contact the college. Bart was stunned when the college informed him that Chandler attended for a short time, then dropped out. Chandler's web of lies quickly unravelled, with his father uncovering the truth. He had not only dropped out of college, but he never did any work with a police scuba team, never worked at an insurance company and was never offered a job at SpaceX. Two days following the discovery of the torso, the remains were formally identified as Bart Halderson. Upon returning to the Halderson residence, law enforcement officers discovered fragments of human bones within the fireplace, as well as cutting implements bearing traces of Krista and Bart's DNA. Following this development, charges were brought against Halderson, encompassing first-degree murder of Bart, concealment of a body and desecration of a corpse. There was no evidence at the scene providing any clues about Krista's whereabouts. In the search for Krista, police had a major breakthrough. Chandler's girlfriend, Kat Melander, handed her phone over to the investigators who downloaded all relevant data and managed to find crucial evidence from the social media app, Snapchat. Snapchat introduced location tracking as a feature to the app in 2017, which allowed users to check real-time location of friends. On the 3rd of July, Kat, who usually kept an eye on her boyfriend's movements, noticed that Chandler was pinned at a location near to the Wisconsin River. She decided to screenshot the map on her phone, which police then later retrieved. With this location information, detectives travelled to the area to investigate. On the 14th of July, another set of human remains were found. These particular remains were identified as legs and they belonged to Krista. The remaining portions of her and Bart's bodies were never recovered. Halderson faced an additional charge of murdering Krista in connection with these developments. The Snapchat location where Krista's remains were discovered held a link for Chandler. Law enforcement officers mentioned that it was in proximity to Chandler's beloved swimming spot, situated in a secluded area by the Wisconsin River. In September 2021, Chandler Halderson pleaded not guilty to murdering, dismembering and hiding the bodies of his parents, Bart and Krista. The Halderson trial commenced in January 2022, Prosecutors believed that Chandler killed his mother and father because they had found out that he was deceptive, pretending to attend college and have exciting job opportunities. 
It was discovered that the emails Chandler had shown his father, allegedly from the Tech College, were completely false and had been created by Chandler's own hand. And it also came to light that Chandler possessed a burner phone. Neighbours' security footage captured an unusual flickering coming from inside the Holderson home on the day in which police believe the couple were murdered. Chandler was witnessed buying a tarp and 20 pounds of ice at a gas station and his internet history provided a search for Wisconsin dismembered body found in the days following Bart and Krista's vanishing. This tarpaulin was extremely similar to a tarp recovered from a garbage dump at the farm where Bart's remains were later found. Also at the farm, within an oil drum, were cutting tools covered in dry blood, which was matched to Bart and Krista. Over 200 human bone fragments were retrieved in the fireplace. The ashes were found to contain remnants of human skulls, facial bones and knee bones. He used a saw and scissors to disassemble their bodies prior to attempting to incinerate them within the household hearth. A gun was retrieved from within a barn by the farm and it was strongly believed by authorities that this was the murder weapon, despite pathologists being unable to determine an official cause of death for Krista due to lack of remains. Blood was also found in the basement of the Holderson house and a forensic expert at the trial stated that there was evidence that a clean-up had taken place. At the trial, Chandler showed no remorse for killing his parents. The jury deliberated for just two hours before reaching a verdict. Chandler was found guilty on all charges, including first-degree murder, mutilating and concealing a corpse and obstruction. He was subsequently given a life sentence in prison without the possibility of parole. In April of 2023, two of Halderson's convictions regarding concealing the bodies of Krista and Bart were, quote, vacated on procedural grounds. However, he remains behind bars and will remain there for the rest of his life. Thank you.